They're all great actors, but I think Tom Holland's Spider-Man seems to be, I don't know, there's something about that, what he's doing and, and Morbius both being new chapters, it makes probably more sense. Not, not a, I wasn't referencing other films or performances, but I certainly enjoyed those performances before. David Bowie, and there's a movie called The Hunger. He was a great performance, beautiful movie. You know, when I was a kid, um, I did get a box of comics somebody gave my brother and I, and we dove in and read them all, you know, and I remember Thor and Spider-Man and Superman and Batman, all these comic books. Uh, I wish I had that box now, I could probably retire. There were a lot of good comics in there. When we first meet Dr. Michael Morbius, he's quite sick and quite frail, and that was a challenging part. You know, the way that I walked, the way that I moved to be kind of at the edgier life, so to speak. And I worked with people that had rare diseases and even modeled my walk specifically after someone who had a certain way of walking, and, and that was very kind of them to give that time and energy to me. But, uh, you know, I wanted to be specific and to give an accurate portrayal. Uh, so that, that took a lot of commitment and it was pretty challenging. I'm excited. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. They keep you on your toes, that's for sure. But, you know, Morbius could end up anywhere. He, he is somewhere in between a hero and a villain. And um, I like that complexity. I thought it's it, it made it different, and um, those nuances make the role really fascinating to me. You know, it gives me a lot to work with. Conflict is always fascinating. You know, conflict is drama, and drama is interesting, right? But uh, yeah, I learned a lot. I just went on a journey to uncover who this guy was and dove in deep, and uh, you know, here we are. Yeah, you know, that's that age-old question between nature and nurture and, you know, the different choices that people make. And again, a fascinating part of the story. There's an age-old kind of Jekyll and Hyde thing there. I jumped at the opportunity to, to be part of this transformative um, uh, character. I mean, I think so. Uh, that's, that's an interesting thing. You know, the world is going to meet Morbius for the very first time on the big screen. And that, that was a really compelling part of it, is that I had the opportunity to do it for the first time.